let's discuss the right of the mother in islam allah says in the quran in surah isra chapter number 17 verse number 23 and 24 we have ordained for the human beings that they worship none but allah and they be kind to the parents and if one of them or both of them reach old age don't say a word of contempt don't say off to them but address them with honor and lower to them your wing of humility and pray to almighty god that have mercy on them and bless them as they cherish me in childhood almighty god says that after worshiping almighty god the next point is that you have to be good to the parents and if one of them or both of them reach old age don't say off to them and address them with honor and lower to them your wing of humility and pray to almighty god that have mercy on them and cherish them bless them as the cherish me in childhood the quran says in surah anam chapter number six verse number 151 and surah ankabut chapter number 29 verse number eight that we have enjoined the human beings to be kind to the parents the Quran repeats the same message in Surah Luqman chapter number 31 verse number 14 and Surah Akaf chapter number 46 verse number 15 that we have enjoined on the human beings to be good to the parents and the verse continues especially to the mothers the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 1 respect the womb that bore you And a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It's mentioned in several hadith Including a Sahih hadith of Sunnah Nisai The book of Jihad Chapter number 6 Hadith number 3106 The beloved Prophet said Paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother That does not mean That if my mother is walking on the street And if she walks on filth and dirt That thing becomes paradise What the Prophet meant was When he said Paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother Means if you love your mother if you respect your mother if you're obedient to your mother if you're kind to your mother inshallah you shall enter paradise there's the hadith in Sai bukhari in volume number eight in the book of adab the book of good manners chapter number two hadith number two in the new edition of bukhari it's hadith number five nine seven one where a man approaches the Prophet and asks him that who in this world deserves the maximum love and compassion? The beloved Prophet said, it's your mother. The man asked, after that who? The Prophet said, your mother. The man asked, after that who? The Prophet said, your mother. The man asked, after that who? Then the Prophet said, your father. That means 75% of the love and compassion goes to your mother 25 percent goes to your father three-fourths of the love and compassion goes to the mother and 25 percent of the love and compassion goes to the father in short the mother gets the gold medal she gets the silver medal as well as the bronze medal the father has to be satisfied with a mere consolation prize these are the teachings of islam i've got no option over it let's discuss the rights of the sister in islam the quran says in surah tawbah chapter number nine verse number 71 well mu'minina wal mu'minat ba'zum awliya ba'z that the believing men and women they are supporters unto one another that means they socially support each other they are like brothers and sisters unless otherwise and a beloved Prophet Muhammad he referred to the woman as shakat. One of the meaning of the Arabic word shakat means a sister. The other meaning is one half. And we know the world population is divided approximately into equal halves of male and female. So one half is male, one half is female. And the Prophet referred to the woman as a sister. Just because the social rights in Islam the uplift the women what would you say that are the women's rights in islam are they protected or are they subjugated 